just assembled my um, many people in my um, domestic policy team to discuss the current flooding in the Midwest. First, our hearts and thoughts go to those who lost life. And of course, we're concerned about those who's, who've lost their homes or lost their businesses. I've been briefed by uh, Secretary Chertoff and Secretary Schaefer and Director Paulison about the response. First task at hand is to deal with the floodwaters, to anticipate uh, where the flooding may next occur, and to work with the state and local authorities to deal with the response. For example, in the case of Iowa, one of the issues was the, the need for fresh drinking water or drinking water, and so Director Paulson informed me that we provide about two million liters of drinking water. When I was overseas, I spoke to the governor, and he said, listen, I, the federal, we need federal help on drinking water. So I sent the word to David, and he responded well. My only point to you is, is that we're in constant contact with people on the ground to help make sure that we save lives. Now that the water is beginning to recede, question is, how do we help with the recovery? And uh, Secretary Chertoff briefed me on plans, particularly when it comes to housing. A lot of people are going to be wondering, is there short-term help for housing? And there is, and we'll provide that help. And secondly, what's going to happen in the long term to the homes? And so Michael's going to set up a, a uh, housing task force similar to the kind we set up in California for the wildfires to work with state and local authorities to have an orderly strategy to help people get back in their homes. I fully understand people are upset when they lose their home. A person's home is their most valued possession. And, uh, and we want to work with state and local folks to have a clear strategy uh, to help people find a, uh, get back into a place they, that, where they can live. Uh, secondly, uh, we're worried about farmers and ranchers. A country that's being affected by these floods We've got a lot of farm country, a lot of people raise, uh, raising livestock, and the Secretary of Agriculture has briefed me on, on uh, the conditions. And we're still assessing how widespread the damage is on the farmlands and assures me that his uh, team's in place to help farmers and ranchers with the federal aid available. And finally, Director Nussel's here from the, uh, from the Budget Office. We've got what we call a disaster relief fund. There's enough money in that fund to take care of this disaster. But what we're concerned about is uh, future disasters this year. And therefore, we're going to work with the Congress. Jim Nussel is going to go up to work with Congress to, to get enough money in the upcoming supplemental to make sure that fund is uh, has got enough money to deal with a potential disaster, another disaster this year. Congress doesn't need to worry about working with the White House on this because we, we think the supplemental is the way to go. What they do need to worry about is making sure that there is enough but not too much money in the fund so we can say we have done our job. Uh, I want to thank the members of my administration for working hard on this issue. I want to thank the governors in the affected states for being so compassionate and caring for their citizens. I want to thank the folks at the local level for loving a neighbor like they'd like to be loved themselves. Uh, this Thursday, I'm going to take our team down there to meet with the folks in Iowa. And, uh, you know, I, 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 I unfortunately have been to too many disasters as president. But one thing I've always learned is that the American citizen can overcome uh, these disasters. And life, while it may seem dim at this point in time, can always be better because of resiliency and uh, care of our citizens. Thank you.